What's up? So recently there was a lettuce outbreak with Romaine lettuce. And oh, you talk about being paranoid because I like a lot of lettuce. I mean, I like to have different salads and you like to have like with your sandwiches and different things. But then you're thinking, man, it's E. coli thing. And then you go to places and they say they can't serve it and they sell it in it. And he gets all paranoid and you're wondering, oh, you know, that anytime I hear about a lettuce outbreak or something, and then you start thinking, oh, man, you just like have like a roller coaster spin ride, like a Ferris wheel ride in your head. Like, did I eat that? What caused him that? How's it taste? What could, you know, what it could lead to? And it's crazy paranoia about these lettuces and how they're washed and cross-contamination and so on and so forth so you know i'm just wondering uh when you go through that and does lettuce consume a lot of what you eat or you put on your sandwiches or just having salad regularly how does it make you feel does it jar you do you sit there and go man i wanted to eat it but i can't eat it i thought about having it but now you know because these places have these e coli outbreaks how does it make me feel and I'm wondering, has that happened to you? Have you sat a situation where it's like, oh, it's just, and does it almost make you want to rid yourself of it? You know, it's like, how do I consume this? Because it's such a big part, it's such an integral part, and yet it's not, you know, it could be detrimental. So, you know, it's a, it's a real paranoia uh, when there are lettuce recalls. And how they mess with your mind and where you and how you formulate when you're having your vegetable assortment. Because how you get like if you want your tomatoes or your cucumbers, how you put everything together. How do you want this to, what do you do? And and if you can't have it, what's your substitute? What's your, what's your backup plan? You know, and that's the thing that's not taken consideration. But these things can strike at any time. This so... Um, like they, they, they're they there unfortunately and a lot of times we go to places and eat and you know you just hope and rope for the best but if you can't even eat the product because it's cross-contaminated something that just makes you feel crazy and upset and paranoid and delusion that you don't even want to touch it anymore when it is available because i kind of be a little gun shy sometimes when lettuce do come back in some places and i have to reassess it is it okay to eat it am i gonna feel funny you know so it's just real life paranoia. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about this this lettuce recall with the romaine and any other time you've had to like bypass the salads and lettuce because you heard it wasn't safe because of the breaks. So let's have some feedback on this. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell rings a new video. Thank you as always. Have a great day. Peace.